Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are going to create dashboard in our blog website. Okay, so this dashboard will basically display all the blogs and uh, number of the blogs and uh, number of uh, comments which that author has uh, did in the in others, uh, you know, others blogs. Okay, so we are going to do all those things and yeah here we are going to limit the number of blocks i mean you, uh, we will display six or five blocks on the user profile page okay and after that we will ask user to go to dashboard if he want to see all his blocks okay so this is going to be more user friendly website okay okay so let's start so here i will go to vs code now here I will create a class and I will give dashboard and here in parenthesis I will write generic dot list view so this list view will basically allow us to perform get request okay so in here I will say template name underscore name okay and that is going to be um authors slash dashboard dot html okay so we are creating this dashboard class in authors app okay that's why i have wrote this path now here i will copy this uh, dashboard dot html and go to templates authors right click create new file and i'll paste that name now let me you know open the toggle screencast mode toggle screencast mode okay after doing that go to url okay now here do comma and hit enter and i'll say path sorry not print path here i say dashboard slash oops slash and here i say views dot dashboard dot s underscore view as view okay comma and i'll say name equals to dashboard okay once this is done copy this uh word which you have written in the name i have wrote dashboard so i'll copy the dashboard go to templates containers navbar and here i will replicate this settings and here above settings i will write dashboard and here i will paste that dashboard in url okay here okay now cut this create blog okay and uh, paste that below dashboard save it come to chrome just refresh click here and you should see this dashboard option now i'll go to font awesome back now in icons i'll search for dashboard click on this free and i'll take this icon click on this box to copy okay come to vs code back and remove this icon we don't need that and paste that okay now let's go to chrome back and refresh we should see this option i mean we should see this icon changed okay now click on dashboard it is not working okay let's do one thing just remove this list view right view okay and remove this 
template underscore name but before that cut this uh, whole template path okay remove this and here instead of query set I will just write get okay so this get function will basically allow you to perform get request okay in this class now here remove this statement and I will say render Okay. and here inside this I'll pass request and paste that name over here and refresh okay so we removed that error now here I'll go to login copy all this code come to dashboard paste that remove this uh, form we don't need that and here I'll say dashboard and here also I will say dashboard in h1 tag come over here refresh okay so we now all set to design the dashboard so here i will just change this h1 to h2 okay now here i'll create div tag with class of row and here i'll say div dot call hyphen md hyphen 6 Okay, come to bootstrap and go to card in docs then card and copy this card okay I'll just copy this card and paste that over here so from this card I don't need this two links and this p tag okay now here instead of this card subtitle I will say total post and instead of this card title I will write number of post this is the static value okay in next video we will fetch all the dynamic values but for now keep it as it is and uh, remove this style okay we don't need that also and replicate this div tag now here instead of 100 I'll say 50 and uh, here instead of total post I will say total reaction let me turn off this toggle screencast mode okay because it is covering this part so I have turned off instead of this reaction you can write comments okay it's up to you now come over here refresh oops I have made some mistake call it should be call not com call icon okay save and refresh okay so we got these two card now here i'll create one more diff tag and here i'll say h4 and i'll say posts okay and here i'll give class which will be equals to mt-3 to leave some margin on the top of this card okay after that I'll go to profile.html and I will just grab this div tag okay not this yeah this div tag I'll just copy okay and paste that over here just refresh let me see okay I think we need to remove some code so remove everything not everything sorry sorry remove this code okay I think it should be proper now so here we are not able to see those card because we have not you know wrote query in this uh, div I mean in this view for fetching the blocks so it is not showing us but that we will do in uh, next video okay so here we have designed the user blog dashboard okay so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in next one thank you